welcome to my channel and welcome back to my channel my name is Lei. i am back from china hi guys i'm back Just in case if you don't know i have been gone back to china for a month for chinese new year and i had a such a great time in there i had so much time with my family and cured all my homesick and um I was really really happy. Okay, today's video is going to be a China haul, which is another best of time I spend in China, which is buying stuff online. If you have been to China, you would know there's a website called Taobao, which is our Chinese Amazon or eBay, which is our shopping online, the main online shopping destination. Why do I feel like a matter? So I've got a lot of stuff on uh, Taobao, including clothes and jewelry and just some random stuff. So this video is going to be a chit chat and uh, quickly get back to you. I miss talking to you guys and uh, I miss sharing my happy moments with you. You know, you can always leave your crack down to my comments. Crack? Yeah, that's Irish. Yeah, I am back. Let me start from the big ones. I know this sounds like a random thing, but I really like it, which is a rolled up piano. Let's quickly show you how to use it. Uh, you just kind of like roll it up and uh, put it down on your table and you just press this button and you start playing. The reason I bought this is because except makeup, I also love music. Ta-da! Currently, I play clarinet and I self-taught ukulele last year, but I never got to learn piano when I was young, so um, now I got time and I want to learn piano. I, mean, I think this is really cool because you can even bring this to park and it's so portable and it's not like a imagined even electric p keyboards are you have to have a big size for that, but this one just rolled up and put in the bag. You are going. And then second one is, I feel like I'm so homey. It's a seat ironing, but it's so small that you can, when you're traveling, you just can bring. My husband and I can both use that. And no one's clothes will have a wrinkles. And then, let me see, there's another live stuff. It's the lint remover. Do you have the same problem in the winter? Some clothes, some big colds, it would just always have lint and always have use, you know, hair balls and which frustrates me so much. And so I bought this, it's an electric one and uh, it actually really is good. And it was only like, oh, sorry, I haven't said the price of my piano and the ironing. The ironing was kind of like um, 30 euro. Yeah, the piano actually I bought it um, delivered to my China home um, for like during the time they're on big sale. The time I bought it was like 55 euro. This one was like only 10 euro or something. I also bought a microphone if you can hear me. <laughs> For my camera, I don't know if it affects, if you notice any difference, let me know if it worth it. And it was like a uh, hundred something, it was like a 15 euro. And uh, some other stuff for my camera and a camera holder right now is um, much better than the one I was using before. It was this boy and it's just so big. Sometimes it's just too big. Okay, now I'm gonna show you some of the clothes I bought, uh, which I'm not gonna show you everything, like all the clothes I bought because some of them are like really thick. First of all, is this kind of like a velvet and pants, really, really comfortable. The waist fits me so perfectly and it's so warm, um, which I can buy it in here, but it's just difficult to find them. And the end was like smaller. I wear this to a gallery with my friend and took some photos. I'm just gonna leave it here. I was really, really happy about them. So, and this I bought from Taobao, and which was like 10 euro skirts. And one is one of this kind of snake skin, and it has like this design was really nice, kind of like a, the shirt sticking out. Um, this one was was not even 10 euro, um, but the quality was not bad. It was kind of like a PU. Also a skirt shorts. Uh, it's kind of like a mini skirt thing, but what I love, just wait, is there's uh, shorts underneath. So actually it's safe 
to wear this without worrying and i'm gonna show you really like the big part of my luggage i don't know if any of you have this kind of problem which is your feet are too small i've heard a lot of my other foreigner friends complaining when they were in china they are hard to they find difficulty to buy shoes because the size were too small um, but here we go it comes to me i think my size uk size could be two and a half for trainers junior size was like 16 to two right um, but for adults, the smallest was from three, so I'm kind of like in the lag. Hello. So this time, I finally got many pair of shoes for me at least for this year to wear that I don't have to struggle from whether the style wasn't fitting me or the color or the size that you know. I mean, shoes are really important. We are especially when you're walking. I'm a big walker. Want to be, you know, looking good and uh, also comfortable. First is this one. Look how cute they are. They've got this fluff around it, and when you're actually wearing them, it's really, really comfortable. And I like the nude color when it's uh, warmer, so you can wear them with skirt and with uh, pants, and also with a little bit, tiny bit of a heel. So when you're walking, you actually wouldn't feel uncomfortable. And my size is can you see 22 ha! and the brand is a Chinese brand I've been wearing every day is this one it's got a pointy hat but the shape I really like the shape and I can wear this like walking with these shoes all day without feeling sore and another pair a boots that uh, was a little bit heel as well but the heel was a transparent uh, these are really comfortable as well I had one of this kind of velvet uh, texture before but they were just too old so yeah I got this this matches with my white pants and with my jeans with everything this one is just so essential and also stylish oh my god this pair I really really like it's a Singapore brand called Charles and Keys Ta-da! Isn't it so princessy? Um, but also, you know, the heel was triangle. They're cool as well. I'm walking with them, they're so delicate, elegant, and just beautiful. Also, very comfortable. And I think I've got this pair for like thirty or twenty-five euro. I can't, I can't remember, but. They're just really, really good price and I really like them. I can wear them with my skirt, wear them with my blue jeans. Wearing them, I don't know what's wrong. If you're in China, you would definitely know it's a Chinese trainer brand called Fei Yue. This was an old, like, old brand. It was the only, like, the trainer brand without Nike and Adidas in China. I've got this classic logo, blue and red, and it has a little bit of foam underneath. Uh, so for petite me, that can be very comfortable at the same time, gain some height. And I also bought two other pair for my husband as well. We both really, really, really like this brand and they're just so cheap. Guess how much is this pair? Around 12 euro for a decent, beautiful cotton shoes. Oh. I just love them so much. I haven't worn them once yet because it's been raining every day and I just hope this rain can go faster. I've got all the shoes I wanted. I can go match my stuff. And let's go for the jewelry. First of all, I'm gonna show you my favorite one. This is from a brand called Charles and & Keys and can you see it's called It's Okay, It's Okay, You're Welcome. I really really like this earring and there are three colors in there uh, rose gold and silver and gold I picked a gold and I got this pair for around 10 euro and also the necklace I'm wearing right now this is from a different brand from Taobao um, which is just a self-designed brand 2 or 3 euro 
This one is also from the same store, which the chain was like this. And also another brand on I bought online. I bought two shiny stars. You kind of like pull this off and you just kneel this part and this part was on the back and you put it on. And this pair of pearl earring. I just think they're just so beautiful. They're just so elegant. Oh, another um, earring from a Chinese designer brand. This part was the ball and this one was also putting from back and the shape was like this. I think this is really cool to go with some, you know, some just white t-shirt and but your jewelry was kind of cool. So I really like that kind of effortless look. But you still try it, you know what I'm saying? And a ring. Look at the details. And this was like uh, around 15 euros something. Charms that my sister-in-law got me. One is a wishing ball. They're 100% gold. And this one was a um, not heart shape. It was all charm you can put on your necklace. I think it's really, really cute. And then I've got some pairs of traditional Chinese style which is this pair it's like a light jade one and they just feel like so so nice <laughs> I just don't know what to say anymore this stone as well I like the color and the shape they're on even shade um, but the color though it looks like a, the brownie was dropping down so Okay, now let's talk about random stuff and food. The reason I'm putting them together because they're not that many, so um, surprise, not many food for Lei. Okay, okay, let's start from the first one. It's a Chinese book that is like a hand sold style. It's like the ancient Chinese style. So uh, what you do is with a hairpin, getting ink, just writing on the one so basically copying it it's like a practicing your chinese at the same time practicing your chinese ancient chinese <laughs> this is actually what my mom suggested me to buy because she is so afraid that i'm gonna forget who i am and a gift i bought for family members it's a magnet but this style is the ancient royal style and the character on it is the royal kitchen so I think this is really cute. And about food, actually, I think my taste buds has changed a little bit. Not a little bit, a lot. Um, I think the food in back home was a bit salty to me. I didn't enjoy them as much as I thought because all I was thinking when I was here was just, oh my god, I miss the food in there, I miss this, I miss that. When I had that, I was kind of like, but again, I still had a great time by eating them. If you've been living in Chinese family, you would know we have this kind of a seeds and uh, sunflower seeds, which ladies will just uh, sit around the table and chatting and eating them. My grandma and my mom and I can sit around the table and eating guadzi for hours. And, and this chrysanthemum tea make me feel pretty at the same time and this theory of that is for calming the fire in your body down i'm not really a that patient person so i definitely need to cool myself down a little bit and uh, a loosened green tea which you can find so many types in china it just depends which one you like so yeah these are the random stuff i bought um, even though i brought so little food with me it doesn't mean you know when you put a hot pot right in front of me i would reject it definitely not. Mm. Okay, finally we're moving to the beauties. Okay, first of all, I bought two sets of bra brushes. These are one set and these are the other sets. Um, this set, actually they both are from a Chinese brand and uh, this one is called Marqueen and these brushes are soft as butters. And this set is another brand, also Chinese brand. They're all synthetic brushes, um, but look at this. It feels like air, literally. 
um, so I use this to set my under eye area they're really 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 smooth and do you know what price are they? this set was, ow, this set was like uh, 17 euro and this set was like 8 wait 19 euro so they're incredible going here you couldn't even buy a bigger brush like this and with this hair oh my god the Chinese this brand is a Chinese local brand honestly before I left China I don't I never used any Chinese local brand I was always using the counter look kind of like the luxurious brands but this time I tried this brand and which is called perfect dairy beauty and this one is their high coverage long wearing liquid foundation shade B21 actually this one and a lipstick was from a packaging was from their limited edition for Chinese New, Ch for Chinese New Year. The whole selection was one foundation and one lipstick and a eyeshadow palette. But mm, to be honest with you, I think the eyeshadow palette was too subtle for me, and so I gave it to my cousin. But I brought these two, and I really do like their colors. And I'm wearing the foundation today here, and I'm not even wearing any other extra shiny thing on my skin but this one isn't matte like in China we don't really like matte matte skin we kind of like it with a little natural glowing so this one has the glowing on and also has the very good coverage and it looks like this it was a shockingly good foundation for me because I've also bought another foundation which is only limited to Asia from SC Louder this one's supposed to be really really good almost every platform and social media in China was talking about how good this is so I actually bought this one this one was like a 50 50 or 60 euro and the Chinese brand this one was like 10 euro if you buy individually which this one beats this one to hell um, I mean I love Essie Louder but like if you let me choose between them I would definitely go for this one because this one just this one just what I love this is just so good I just don't have other words to say um, but this one's packaging was cute and feels luxurious and um, looks special I still like it I'm not gonna throw it anyway. Another cleanser, which is from the Fresh Soil Face Cleanser. Even though this is not a Chinese brand, but I've used it during this trip and I found they're really, really good. And I bought some lenses from Japan. The eyebrow pencil from a Chinese brand called Mari Dagal. Oh, forgot to say the perfect dairy. The whole box it has a lot of things cotton pads and it has this travel free gentle makeup remover. I've been using a lot. Look at the container. Actually, this is really smart. It's not that type you open the cap and right away it drops. It actually, has another little twist and you open and it will come. I think this is really smart. Oh, and a, I bought a face clean machine from Innisfree and um, 20 euro. This tape. I followed a YouTuber called Christine Dominic and she was once trying this uh, hooded eye tapers and she was failed and she was so cute. I actually bought this one um, for my hooded eyes. Actually, just stick it here and actually make your eyes look Bigger. Mm. Yeah. I also bought a Shiyomura Lush Curver. European brands or the American brands, the curve shades are. It doesn't fit my Asian face, so I bought an Asian brand and some face masks. I love sheet face masks. I bought a few, so I'm just gonna quickly show you. Is where I restore my face mask. I really like this brand, it's called Dr. Jet and it's actually a Korean brand but I really really like it and I use to like I use um, the blue pill one and the green pill one um, a lot because they're just basically hydrating your skin but the red pill ones are sometimes you have breakout on your skin where is it? If your skin isn't so stable, so I would just use this one. 
um, and also baby face one this was really good actually has seven sheets in it uh, I've used right before the Chinese New Year and uh, I've got compliments saying my skin is clear and clear so I've got that and uh, this one is my friend got me from Japan and also and this one is from my aunt which is really good it's kind of like brighten your skin and this one's supposed to be good as well I think I've used it before but I kind of like remember but these sheets masks are just I couldn't live without them and I realized in here not so many people like to use sheet masks Oh, and this one is a Polish brand. It's supposed to be really good, but it's not a sheet mask. It's just kind of like you have to put like tons of cream on your face. It's moisturizing. It's nice. So, um, and uh, this type, this one's supposed to be really good, but I do remember I don't really like the smell, but it doesn't matter if it works. Um, yeah, so these are my face masks. These face masks can help me hold on for a while and I really really do like them. I literally rely on them. And then I've got other things like a set of fake lashes, false lashes from Japan. I'm gonna wait until you know my fault my extensions are all gone. And I have a top one glue, lashes glue. So I'll tell you when I use it if it's good or not. And also a cream and cheek gel i haven't used it this yet so let's just unpacking it now and try it together Ugh, this nails <sighs> you know what i don't know what i want for because sometimes i love them but sometimes i couldn't practice my ukulele or any music instrument with those nails oh life is so hard okay let's try this cream Ooh, really creamy. And it has a teeny weeny tiny mirror here. I'm just gonna use a teeny tiny mirror. I'm gonna use a big mirror. Okay, I'll hold on that one. Hey, not bad. Oh. It has a smell. It smells like blossom. It's nice. Okay, the next, oh yeah, this is a mini soul. It's like a cheap version of Muji. Today I used one of these and uh, they're really, really soft and bouncy. It's not hard at all. If you're a makeup artist, the one, if you have a chance to go to China, um, I think it's so good for the price at the same time. So handy. And, uh, I just got so many like little, little things everywhere. Is that cool? And a kitties. It's an Oreo one, and I feel like. <laughs> and a kitty one. Come here, catch me. Can you see? Catch me. Hmm. And they're all soft ones, so um, they're like really, really cheap. This one's like a two euro. Um, each of them like a two euro. So yes. this one as well. Kitty. You know, extra secure. Oh so, yeah, guys. This is today's China haul, and uh, probably it's a little bit long, but um, you know, I try my best. For those brushes, you have my words. I'm definitely gonna make a specific video for testing them if they're good or they just look good. You know. Thank you again for spending time with me, and uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you like me, please don't forget to subscribe me, and. I will see you very soon. Bye.